them that say in that area, swimmers are swimming at their own risk. In Bridgeport, Patrick Musinak, News 12 Connecticut. Patrick, thank you. We have seen tragedy in Connecticut waters in the last 10 days, but we have seen heroism as well. News 12's Eric Campano joins us from our newsroom to tell us about what happened at a pool in Trumbull. Eric, we could all use a happy ending at this point. Well, Becky, when a young girl sank to the bottom of a pool at a beach at, Memorial, at Beach Memorial Park yesterday afternoon, two lifeguards sprang into action. One lifeguard was sitting on the high chair and watching the pool full of kids. I saw the girl drowned over here. So once that happened, I blew my whistle three times. I put this phone on right here. And I jumped in the water and got her. Cody Hutchinson is 15 years old and from Trumbull. Another guard, Matt Cellini, who's 20 and also from the town, was watching from the first aid station. I heard the splash over here, so I came turning around, and he was coming up from the bottom of the pool. And as I saw him reach the surface of the water, I saw that, like, you know, it was kind of struggling and everything. So then I jumped in, and I grabbed the girl, and I swam her over to the side. The guards say the two bystanders, who are anonymous, helped out and performed CPR. One, a nurse at Bridgeport Hospital. The other, a physician's assistant at Norwalk Hospital. If there's ever a right time for these kind of things to happen, it might have been now. The lifeguards say that just a few weeks ago, they restructured their emergency action plan, and that's the one that they used. Parents say they are relieved after such a heroic performance. That he knew to do it, not to hesitate, not to think, oh, maybe they're playing, but he knew that child needed him, and he, I just get shivers thinking about it. I think it's wonderful. They're very brave. Now, we don't know who this little girl was because officials won't release her name. Emergency responders took her to Bridgeport Hospital. The staff there says that she was released today and that she's doing just fine. In the newsroom, Eric Campano, News 12, Connecticut. Thanks, Eric. Now we want to ask you, do you keep an eye on your kids when you're at the beach or the pool? Right now, 88% of you are indeed paying attention. The other 12% of you rely on the lifeguards or the kids themselves. Here's a, we urge you to cast your vote.